This is not a battery. I know it looks like a battery, but it is not a battery. At least, not in the sense, science sense of the word. Now, this is one of the things that I wish I could change. I mean, if I was in charge of the world, I would change many, many things. And the way that we use words in every day, and then the way that we use words in science, it would be one of the things that I would change. Because they don't necessarily match up. And when you're trying to learn stuff for your GCSE, the fact that words you've been using ever since you could speak now means something completely different, it's sometimes really, really hard for you to get your head around. So this is a cell, okay? If I had two or three cells in a row, then they would make a battery. Now, if we think about our flashcards, um, our circuit symbols for physics, see, here is one cell, that is it, on its own, and then if we want to have more than one cells together, cells together? Yeah, that makes sense. There we go, can we see that? That is a battery. Cell, one on its own. Battery, lots of cells together. So it is a common, common misconception. It's one of the things that confuses people a lot in physics and in chemistry, the difference between a cell and a battery, which is lots of cells put together, okay? If I could change it for you, I would, but I can't, so I'm sorry.